Now here we go. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative act, you know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burning room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll have Miss Gale call up to your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. You need to check that scattergun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. Buying rooms down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all was over in Georgia for a while. He just got out of the service. My cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours. Got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks. But no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job. And that old nigga who staggers in is hot on the spot. Bastards better not be playing with each other back there. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Christ, look at that. Didn't know y'all held that much gold. Uh, Washington's been shuffling around on account of the war. It's here, then it gets sent to Dallas, then it comes back. Uh, it doesn't make a lick of goddamn sense. <sighs> here we are. Those bags on the table there. Never done this detail before. Figured it'd be bigger. It gets the job done. Only time there's a problem is when the flu clogs up. Fuck. That's some heat right there. We used to use coal for it, but a year or so back we switched over to oil. Maintains a more consistent flame. Here's yeah, some guy come around the house trying to switch me over to oil. I told him I wasn't interested. I never was neither till I... God, that guy was an asshole. We need to move. Danny and Ellis should be coming up any time now. All right, give me a second. <clears throat> All right, you take care of those guards. Keep your ass down. You don't want them getting a drop on us. I know what the fuck I'm doing. we've been renting out. Called over there last night. Told them I wanted to sell. Told them they needed to be out in two weeks. And the man, his name's uh, John, starts laying into me. Huh?
Now here we go. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative act, you know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you. Right, here we go. Put your IDs up the glass. We're part of the Boeing crew. What the fuck's this shit heel doing here? Affirmative act, you know how it is. Old country is spinning around a goddamn toilet. You can follow me. As for you, go on and grab those bags off the truck. You'll be carrying them to the burn room. How much y'all bring in? $238,546. Small bills, mostly. I'll have Miss Gale call up to your office when we're done. She'll confirm the delivery. Appreciate it. You need to check that scattergun. You packing anything? Still in training. Good. One less goddamn thing for me to worry about. You can pick it up on the way out. The buying room's down in the cellar. This way. I ain't seen y'all around these parts before. Y'all was over in Georgia for a while. He just got out of the service. My cousin's been trying to get on here for over a year now. Was in the Navy for two tours, got medals falling out of his ass. Government tells him thanks. But no thanks. That's a crock of shit if I ever heard one. Sad day when a God-fearing white man can't get a job. They old nigga who staggers in his hide on the spot. The day of the robbery. Another one was a janitor at the Federal Reserve, and he provided a rough layout. The robbery of the Federal Reserve was timed perfectly, and none of it would have been possible without the involvement of Sammy Robinson, Lincoln Clay, and the rest of the black mob. You just come from Vietnam? That's right. I was a Marine in the Pacific. You take it from me. Just because you're home, doesn't mean you're back. You understand? People around here, they don't, they don't get it. Never will. <laughs> Keep your ass out of trouble. I'm late. 
got caught up crossing the bridge. Don't worry about it. Excuse me, sir. I'm get ticked off if you even a minute late. <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> How was the trip? Is how this is the first time in four years, and somebody telling me where to go, what to do, or how to do it, it was fucking great. <laughs> mm. What's new with the old man? Man, don't even get me started on Pops. He used to pull his head out of his ass. Same as ever then. Brother, you have no fucking idea. Damn, Ellis. She's looking good. <laughs> Just like I left her. Man, even I know not to fuck around with your cop. Hmm. All right, come on. I'm ready to go home. <laughs> He's looking to stir up trouble. Since we got your telegram about coming home, he's been climbing the walls. What if the plane crashes? What if the train's delayed? What if they call him back? And he goes stand in front of the kitchen window and sip his whiskey like he was expecting you to come strolling up the sidewalk. Don't say nothing about me telling you that. I won't. He'll be fine once he sees you. Ever since Mama Hell, you know how he gets. Remember Marty and Ron Langford? Sure. They moved up to Empire Bay a year or so after you shipped out. Started selling weed. They call and ask me if I want some. I say, sure. It's free money as far as I'm concerned. And how a month back, Marty drops me a line and says they're moving into heroin, that they're looking for a partner down around these parts. Can't imagine Sammy was too keen on that. I never told him about the weed. That ain't nothing to nobody but this. I ain't said more than three words and he's yelling about the feds. How we don't need J. Edgar up our asses and what the fuck am I thinking? Selling dope with kids running around the neighborhood. We ain't selling no dope to no children. <laughs> like they got any money to begin with. Fucking around the side.